Greece, the birthplace of democracy, the Olympic Games in the cradle of Western civilization has something to offer to every traveler around the world. There are probably a million reasons why you should travel to Greece. This Mediterranean country has it all. Great beaches, wonderful food, friendly people, history and culture. But one problem that often comes in the way is money. A trip to Greece can be pretty extravagant. But worry not, fellow travelers, because in today's video, we bring to you tips that you would need to travel to Greece on a budget. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. Tip number one, months you should avoid. As this video tries to bring to you the most cost-effective way of traveling to Greece, we'd like to inform fellow tourists to stay away from Greece in the months of July and August. July and August are the months that would see the most inflation of prices among all other months throughout the year. If the inflation of prices doesn't deter you, you'll be deterred by the humidity and extremely hot temperatures that Greece faces in the months of July and August. The best month for traveling and roaming around Greece should be May. Tip 2. Why avoid Mykonos and Santorini? When we think of traveling to Greece, we're reminded of the beautiful and mesmerizing islands of Mykonos and Santorini. No wonder these islands offer a pristine experience but due to their popularity and being the most common tourist spots, the prices around these areas are often high and if you spend a lot here, there will be a probability that you wouldn't be able to experience much of Greece. Greece is home to a number of islands that are as beautiful as these two, but since they remain on offbeat destinations, the prices would fall within your budget and you would be able to experience more. Seraphos or Crete Island might be an even better option. Tip number three, always negotiate. While negotiating might not be the first thing that comes to your mind when you land in Greece, if you can haggle well, you can get your price slashed by over 50%. A good negotiator will always stay consistent and firm in their dealings. You need to remember that owners will bring the prices down more if you'll be traveling during the off-season or you would be staying for long periods of time. You can haggle for villas, hotels, rental cars, etc. Therefore, negotiation is the key where you can get a car where the owner asks for $600 at $200 per month. Tip number four, where to dine and where not to. When planning on a budget, the food needs to be planned out as well because it forms a great part of your trip. Big restaurants shall always have inflated prices, which might not be suitable for your limited budget. Greece has an answer to this. With restaurants in tavernas, Greece caters to a wide range of tourists. While restaurants are to be stayed away from if you are on a limited budget, tavernas are something you can visit based on the amount you would want to spend. Everywhere you spot taverna written, you should know that the prices would be cheap. One thing you should keep in mind is that the prices in tavernas shall vary as well. This variation will be caused by the location. If your taverna is located beside a water body with a great view, rest assured that the prices will be higher than the rest. Therefore, one should often look for a taverna on the street side or in offbeat places where they do not get many tourists and only locals would have knowledge about this. Moreover, you can always have the option of visiting a bakery. One might often think that the bakery will only consist of bread, but in Greece, the bakeries, especially at lunch or dinner time, shall serve you authentic Greek food at very low prices. An entire meal might cost you 5 euros only. Again, to spend an even lesser amount of food, you can cook for yourself as well. Selecting your groceries are a huge deal for supermarkets that will sell groceries at a higher rate than the local grocery stores. Local grocery stores will serve you hygienic meat and other items at a very low rate and you would be supporting small businesses that would appreciate your support rather than supermarkets who might not even care an inch about you. 
Magiera or family-run small Greek restaurants that serve lunch and sometimes dinner as well. These restaurants are quite affordable and offer vegan and vegetarian options as well. If you get into a restaurant where the menu is written in English completely, you should walk out of it because you should know that this restaurant shall empty your pockets because this has been catered for tourists. Instead, you should walk into restaurants with menus written in Greek and you should not hesitate to ask for a translation or an English menu. Tip number 5. Transportation Transportation might be a worry for you, but don't fret because we've got you covered. If you plan on renting a car or scooter, you must remember to not rent them from the popular and the international chains that are located beside tourist spots. Instead, what you can do is venture a little deeper into the city, explore the streets a little, and look for rental places that are located far off in the tourist spots. These offbeat rental places will not only charge you less, but shall serve you better than those of international brands. Again, if you want to travel between islands, ferries would be the best option where you would be able to enjoy the view as well. Now, one is always advised to book an assigned seat on the ferry. Otherwise, if you visit during the seasonal time, you would have to be crammed up on the deck with numerous others and you would not like it. However, in the month of May, even if you do not book an assigned seat, you might have the deck all to yourself. Tip number 6. How to visit historically relevant areas We are all aware of the historical importance of Greece, and anyone who is interested in Greek mythology should check out the free walking tours that are guided by renowned archaeologists or historians giving us an insight into Greek history that is not only interesting but worth knowing more about. The expert guidance shall tell you all about the ancient ruins that you should be visiting, based on your interests or likes or dislikes and will be more suitable for your tour. And the best part is, these are free, you can simply google free walking tours during your visit and you'll find a lot of them. Tip number 7. International license can save you big bucks. Before coming to Greece, you should apply for an international license, which will help you rent a car or a scooter on an ATV that will not only help you move across without spending much on transportation, but also it will help you to stay in a place away from the busy centers that might cost more because those places would be catering to the tourists and they might charge more. Tip number 8. Visit the beaches. Greece is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Whenever you're visiting a beach, you do not need to get a bed and an umbrella. All you need to carry is a beach bag and a towel so that you can lay on the beach and you can experience the same pristine sea and the aura just the same while saving you on a few extra bucks. Tip number 9. The perfect time to book your flight ticket. Last but not least, we bring to you the cheapest time to fly to Greece. November shall be the cheapest month to fly to Greece with about 18% slashed than the average yearly flight ticket price. One should always avoid traveling to Greece in July because it is expected to be as high as 16% more than the average. Booking a flight in September might save you 13% compared to the average and the cheapest months to book are September and October, followed by November. Be careful to not book a flight in the month of May or June. As we have come to the end of our video, we would like to ask you to mingle with the locals, trust their instincts, and ask them for any help that you might need. We hope that this video has been able to make your trip cost-friendly and cost-effective, and shall help you plan your finances better. Let us know your favorite part of Greece in the comments below, and do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more such content. Till then, adios!